Well, and when you're in the field, it's quite an intense um, environment. So it's we had like I had a field diary and I had a reflective diary. So it was really useful. And my field diary was just kind of writing my notes, everything that was happening. And then it was really useful at the end of the day to come back and actually reflect, read through my field diary, and then write up my kind of interpretations of what I'd collected, my experiences um, through um, in my uh, reflective diary. So it's useful just to see how, because when you're in the field, it's such it's such an intense experience that you kind of, I kind of took everything, I believed absolutely what everyone was saying. So it's quite useful to kind of take a step back, to look through your notes, to actually realise that knowledge like, isn't pure, it's kind of shaped by your own, um, like by you in the field, like being a researcher and being, um, when we in the Northern Territory, we were white Australian um, uni students in an Indigenous environment, so us going in, we immediately kind of shaped the knowledge and the data we were able to collect. So reflecting back on it enabled us to kind of critique our own um, data and look for flaws. When we were reflecting at the time of uh, our project, it meant that we were able to change the way we behaved, the way we interacted at certain points, um, and were able to effectively kind of shift um, things that we realised we were doing. Mm -hmm. um, and that was really useful. And then in that kind of post-reflective practice, you kind of, um, I feel, especially when you go on a, on a, like a field trip or something and then come back, um, often those kind of insights, those lessons can easily be lost. Mm -hmm. But um, kind of reflecting on them afterwards means that you can keep them close and um, keep them in mind. And then um, for any time in the future when they might come in handy. Honestly, I found the benefits were uh, kind of much more personal. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people go away on these projects and they come back and they say things like, oh, I really helped the community and I made a difference. But, and I feel a little bit of that too, but for me, I feel like I learn more about myself. Um, I learn more about how I operate, especially in like team environments and like workplace environments and obviously cross-cultural things as well. So. The benefit for me is that I've learned much more about myself. I found that my university studies um, really were able, I was able to find a lot of link, links between what I'd studied and how I could perform in the workplace and offer my own knowledge and expertise in those areas. I, said, I did my internship at the European Australian Business Council and I found my studies on the European crisis at university were very helpful, especially attending events where I could make conversation with people and actually know what I was talking about. Um, so that was really beneficial and it was beneficial just to um, see how I had improved and sort of have some sort of form of measurement on um, over Sorry, have some form of measurement to sort of give myself feedback and um, see where I had made mistakes or what areas I could um, improve upon. I think the benefits of the um, reflective um, activities were to um, sort of to allow you to think critically about what you do at work. Um, so, for example, um, there will be time when you have to, um, when, when you be under, when you're under pressure with a lot of work, a lot of tasks coming your way, and um, by doing the um, reflection, you'll be able to rethink your strategies, and um, so that you could um, maybe do better next time. Also, the next one would be um, benefits would be to let you allow pushes you to measure your your personal and professional goals and achievements. Uh, at the beginning, you'll be able to you you you'll be setting your your own standards, your own goals, and then at the end, you'll be uh, reflecting upon what you have, have uh, achieved. And then I think what's in between is um, is a learning process, and I think that is very in invaluable. Um, and that that is what the reflection was about. And the third one would be um, reflection um, sort of give you a t uh, allow you to to give real life solutions to um, the, the problems at work and maybe um, you could uh, compare it to what they have at work. If you believe it's better, then you could um, suggest it to your supervisor. And, um, but the point is, the point is um, you'll be able to, to challenge the, um, unconventional, the, the conventional approaches.